Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial in the course of MRI preprocessing techniques. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do brain extraction, but this time using a template-based method. We already have seen that it is relatively easy to generate a brain mask using the Unspinet library. Now we will see another method. The motivation to show you this method it is because it integrates the knowledge of registration and also because it could be that you don't want to use a convolutional neural network by any reason. So this is an alternative for that. Let's see. The process is basically a registration, but we will use the inputs in a different way. For example, now we want to register the template to the raw image so that we will have as the output the template registered. We will get the transformations files too. These transformations contains information to go from the template space to the native space. Be aware that, that these assets are only temporary and not the final output. In the next step, we're going to use as input the brain mask of the template. How we are going to do the transformation step using the transformation information and the registered image. If you remember, this is the same as when we transformed a tissue mask after registered the raw image. The difference is that now the image being registered is a template and the raw image is the reference. We can do this because, as I told you, the reference could be any image. In this case, it is a raw image, not a template. Okay? Good. So, the output of this transform should give us a brain mask that should delimit fairly well the brain of the original image. Pause the video if you need more time to fully understand the operation. With this picture on mine, let's start with the goal. So, now we have a raw example to work with. This is uh, the same raw example that we have used in previous notebooks. And this is the one we will use to do the brain extraction. Now we're going to, uh, for this template-based method, we're going to need to load the template. This is the same uh, same template we have used previously. We load it with ANTS. We also need to load the brain mask of the template. So we load it too. And now we're going to do the registration of the template image to the raw image. We're going to do we're going to use the ants.registration going to pass as the fixed parameter the raw image and as the moving parameter we're going to use the template image. So I'm going to execute this and, and I will continue uh, once the operation is finished. Now we have the registration complete. All the information generated it is on the transformation dictionary. We're going to just print out uh, as we usually do. Here we have the warp move out key where the result is saved. Now we're going to get this result into a variable, registered image ants, and we're going to call the comparison function to see the before and the after version. Before we have the raw image and after we have the template image with the same shape and size of the raw image, but it is actually the, the template image. Pretty cool. So now we have our first temporary asset. Now we're going to apply the transformations to the mask of the template. So this is a step where we actually generate the brain mask. We're going to call ants.apply transform. We're going to call the, uh, we're going to use the uh, graph move out key as the moving parameter. We're going to pass the brain mask of the template. 
for the transform list parameter, as before, we use the key FWD transform. This time, we're going to use a different interpolator, which is Nader's neighbor. This is only an exercise. You can check out the documentation of the function. Which other options are possible to use? So now I'm going to execute this. And now I have my brain mask generated. So I'm just going to plot it to see how it looks like. See a few slices used to see how it looks. But I want to see how this looks together with the raw image. So I use the mask contour function. And there we go. So now we have our raw image and we inspect the mask we have generated. We can see that it delimits fairly well the brain. Uh, but we notice that in some edges uh, it misses some brain tissue. So let's fix that. To fix that, we're going to apply a morphology operation, which is the dilate operation. We're going to apply this on the brain mask. I use M type binary because this is a binary function. So I execute this and there we go. So now my brain mask looks a bit dilated, but I have fixed those regions that didn't cover the brain tissue. So now I'm going to save the result as usual. I'm going to use a suffix brain mask by template. I generate the path and now I save my image. So the final step is to generate the brain masked version of the brain. So I'm going to use a function ants.maskImage. I'm going to use the, ra the raw image and the brain mask generated. And there we go. Here I have the brain extracted of the raw image that I started with. So I just inspect how the brain looks like. It looks okay for me. And now I'm going to save this result too. I generate the path. This is brain masked by template. Now I just proceed to save the result. So masked dot to file, I pass the output. And now the result is saved. So now you know how to do brain instruction using a template-based method. So that's it right now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.